What's going on, y'all? So let's what's going on y'all so we are back again for a new episode review of love and hip-hop new york season 10 episode 5 x's and o's okay so we start off we got janiski you know she in the um booth or whatever rich is up there now let me tell you something rich okay besides the little petty shit with erica rich is actually doing his fucking job and i'm can't I, I, bitch i'm surprised that i am saying this shit rich is actually doing his goddamn job okay um, when he put the pussy aside, he actually doing his job or is he really doing his job so that he can get the pussy? You just don't know we're rich. Okay. But this is the old rich that I'm used to seeing when he was with Olivia. I mentioned this before because when he was with Olivia, he was really trying to get that bitch some, um, deals and all that stuff. He was putting effort in. Okay. So now that's what we seeing. And so she in the booth with him or whatever. He didn't got her studio time, all this shit. But what has Fresher got her? Okay. So basically she's sitting there like, you know, thank you for setting up the showcase. Thank you for bringing the people there, whatever. But you know, that whole shit that went down, that ain't me. I can't be getting nowhere trying to be fighting and getting into it with everybody. That ain't me. That ain't what I'm trying to do. You know what I'm saying? Just not for the brand of Janeski. That's not what I want them to see. You know what I'm saying? And so at this point, um, Fresher comes in, all right, Fresher comes in and, you know, Fresher face just be so greasy looking, like, it's one thing to moisturize and to be glistening or whatever, but his be on a whole nother pterodactyl ass level, that bitch, Fresher look like something from the land before time, okay, that is what it is, bitch, that is what it is, and that was one of my favorite movies growing up as a kid, man before time, look it up, Kaka, uh, pterodactyl, little foot up in his bitch, okay? Try pterodactyls, you know what I'm saying? He look like one of them things that had the thing on top of the raptors or whatever they had the things that, mm, you know what I'm saying? Girl, he look prehistoric. There you go, that's the goddamn word, okay? He ain't, I ain't even gonna say he ugly because he not necessarily ugly. He just, he just weird looking, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I say that because if I... Y'all already know he dark-skinned it too, so I'm kind of biased. God damn. But anyway, he's still a fuckboy, okay? He come in um, because Janiski had already told Rich that she was going to bring him in because, you know, to tell him uh, some shit. And basically, he in his feelings like, yo, every time I come up in some place, he always here. What's good? You know, what you trying to do? Take my client? She said, bitch, at the end of the day, you know what? What have you done that Rich hasn't done for me? Rich has done a whole bunch of shit that he said he was going to do in a matter of a few days, a couple of weeks than you've done for me in a matter of a few months that we've been working together, okay? He is out here getting shit done. What about you? He was like, you know, you ain't doing nothing. Did you bring your bitch to the thing? Let me tell you something. When you got something going on, you need to police your bitch. That's what you need to do. What you need to do, you shouldn't be out here doing all this stuff and amping it up and being all crazy in the background. What you talking about? I was doing all this stuff and yada da Listen, first of all, you don't tell me what I need to do because that's what you need. That's what you keep on fucking up at. Okay? You telling me what I need to do, telling me how I need to be, telling me what I need to dress, telling me what I need to say, bitch. No, what you need to do is you control your bitch, okay? Because I'm not your bitch, all right? Right? Tell your bitch that we ain't fucking each other. I said, you know what, Janice I like you for right now, okay? I said, put that bitch up in this goddamn place. Had that motherfucker stuck on stupid, okay? How you up here trying to help somebody else out when your ass ain't even helped out? Bitch, you can't even help yourself, okay? And I bet you there's cubic zirconians that you got on your goddamn neck on them. That ain't ice. That ain't real. Bitch, get that. God damn penny candy ass necklaces and shit out of here. Anyway, moving on from that, we get Jonathan and Sin. They over at Sin's place and, you know, they doing little karaoke. They waiting for Juju to come over there. Now, Juju must have missed the message or Juju must have came from work, okay? Because Juju come with another second and, um... Um, pencil on. These pencils, I really do like them on Juju, but Juju, I want you to wear some comfortable wear, you know, when you're going to go kick it at your homegirl house or whatever. And it's giving me the tease that, um, <clears throat> y'all not really cool like that. Like, you really are just a friend of the show and Mona is telling you and setting you up like, you know, just go over here, this place, this place, this place. Because... Um, I will have a change of clothes, all right? Uh, I'm finna get comfortable. I'm finna get, I'm finna drink my ass off. We finna have some fun or whatever, okay? I don't, I'm not there on a business meeting. But she basically there so that her and Jonathan can relay the message about what happened at the, um, you know, showcase when Tahiri showed up. Um, 
you know, saying that Erica was trying to hook uh, Joe and her up. Here's my thing about that. Jonathan wanted to fake like he was so damn drunk, like he didn't know what happened and he wanted Juju to relate. But yet you keep putting your input in because you know exactly what happened. You want that fucking drunk. You just a messy bitch, okay? At the end of the day, you know, um, Sam, you trying to say, okay, at one point we was cool with each other. And then, you know, Joe not, know not to play with me and all this shit, but he is a good dad and woo, woo, woo. I don't see what the problem is, okay? And here's why I don't see what the problem is. I get when you break up with somebody, especially off the top, it's fresh. And we don't know how long they've been broken up at this point. But at the end of the day, seeing you broke up with this man, you left him, okay? For whatever he did, bitch, what's that in my heart? Um, piece of lint. Whatever he did, you left him, okay? So, at the end of the day, um, if you leave me, bitch, we over, okay? That's what it is. And I can be free to go do whatever the fuck it is that I want to do, okay? We tried to talk about it one time, and maybe we need to talk another time. But at this point, that'll leave a sour taste in my mouth. I wouldn't want you back at that moment, all right? I'm finna go out and do what I need to do. And if he want to fuck around with Tahiri, let him fuck around with Tahiri. Because at this point, just because y'all were engaged, once you leave me, bitch, we ain't engaged no more. You can keep the fucking ring. But, uh, you know, that's how I just look at it. People might look at it different. Like, no, nah, because it's a possibility that you might get back together or whatever. Them bitches ain't together no more, okay? That's what it is. And Tahiri don't want that old dick, okay? Tahiri don't want that old dick, old struggle, old abuse. He, she don't want that, okay? Come on now. And you getting all up in your feelings. And I feel like the main reason why she getting in her feelings is because it's Erica. Erica, you know, that's what it is. Because it's Erica. If it was anybody else, she wouldn't get no fucks. But anyway, girl, get off my TV with that. Um, Moving on from that, you left him. If you ain't want him fucking around, bitch, whatever. Whatever. Because you acting like you don't want to get back with him and all that stuff anyway. So, you you, you in your feelings. Cause you, I mean, I know that's how it go. You don't want to see the bitch move on so quick or whatever. you like, damn, it don't mean nothing. But to me, that'd be like, no, you just fucking off on that bitch. You still want me or whatever. You just doing this to get your nut off. I understand. Okay? Because I'd be out there getting my nut off too. Listen, let me just tell you. I think like a nigga. So, it is what it is. Somebody going to be like, bitch, that you not, now you know damn well. No, I know damn well because I think like a nigga sometimes, so I get it. <laughs> it is what it is. But um, moving on from that, um, Safari and Erica. Erica, let me tell you something. Safari, you invited Jandy, okay? That was an open invitation because even if you would have said if you wanted to come, bitch, she was going to say yes. You literally sent the invite out, all right? Do you want to come or not? That, that was a fucking invite. And, of course, you had a conversation with um Erica, I mean, and, 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 and not telling her whether or not you're going to invite um, Yandy when you said that you wasn't, but then you already did. So you are in the wrong, okay? Just apologize and move the fuck on so she can shut the fuck up. She hormonal. And I ain't got time for it, okay? Truth be told, y'all can hear straight off this show because it's not working for me right about now i don't like this safari bitch i like the goofy safari come through like erica what you doing to him you subduing him right about now and i don't get it so erica basically says safari up here acting like a bitch okay that's what he's saying and she was saying you know you up here doing shit that females do okay you up here inviting people behind my back and not telling me and then you know and i can't admit what you said and all that shit girl i was over it all right she mad she crying and all that shit i get it but girl the hormones, that's what I'm going to blame it on. Blame it on the ho, 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 hormones. That's all I'm going to blame it on. Anyway, moving on from that, we get Remy Ma meeting up with Pat Poos, okay? And she thinking about the stuff that Fat Joe has told her. You know, she needs to get this album out. She really needs to buckle down, you know what I'm saying? She didn't delay the album over a year because the baby came and the album was due over a year ago. And so now she's contractually obligated to do this album. So, girl, it's 2020. We still ain't heard shit, you know what I'm saying? They filmed this in 2019, bitch. Where the album at, okay? Can we get a fucking single that's going to stick? You know what I'm saying? Girl, like, truth be told, you know, I, 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 we joke or whatever. Like, I'm pretty sure nobody's really checking, checking for Remy's album. But I would love to listen to it because Remy got lyrics. Okay? Remy got bars. You know what I'm saying? Remy got raps, you know? And I want to hear rap. I want to hear real rap, you know? And my whole thing is, Jay-Z, 
snatch Pat Poose up and put his ass on Rockwell. Uh, uh, Rockwell. That's the clothing line. Put himself on uh, Rock Nation since y'all signing up everybody and they goddamn mama. Put his ass on there. You know, he independent and shit like that. You know, he got some deals in the pot or whatever. And so, you know, Remy telling him she about to go down to Miami to write and all the stuff and get this shit done. And he said, I can't go with you because if I go with you, all this stuff, you know, people coming at me, distributions and stuff like that since I'm independent. All that's going to fall to the wayside. I already put my career on hold for your ass when you went to jail. Ain't nobody tell you to shoot that bitch. Okay. You know, that's basically what he said without saying it. But I put that in there because I know that's what he was thinking. But he was thinking about black love at the same time. So, you know, he ain't want to be messy, you know, because that's his wife. But I can be. Okay. And so at this point, you know, um, she he was like, I can't go down into Miami with you or whatever. And she said, mm, but see, bitch, I need to go down to Miami and then get the baby or whatever. Who going to watch the baby? He was like, you, listen, why don't you just leave the baby here with me and, um, you know, I go down, you go down there to Miami and you do whatever you got to do. What? You ain't got no breast disses. You can't milk, um, breastfeed or whatever. You can't do this and all this stuff with the baby. I said, Remy, I feel like you just making excuses at this time. Okay? Pump, 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 and ship. All right? Leave some formula. Leave a whole bunch of milk. Still keep on pumping while you still up here. Put that shit up in the refrigerator. If you need to make a trip back, do what you got to do to make this album work. Listen, let me tell you something. And I know I hate people who probably hate for us to bring her up, but be Beyonce was out here performing whole ass pregnant, okay? Beyonce had a baby come fresh out the womb, ah, like that. And two months later, the bitch was up in the goddamn, as uh, soon as she healed up enough, the bitch was up in the studio with the baby on her hip, recording her album and dropped that bitch, okay? Dropped the goddamn album and still went on tour with the baby in the back. What is your excuse? What is your excuse, girl? Like, there is none, okay? You better put a crib up in that goddamn um, um studio, put some toys up in there, get you a nanny or whatever. Bring No, get your little son or somebody to come down there and babysit. That's what you need to do. If you're really real about what you need to, um, that you want to put this music out, you will make it happen. You will find a way. To me, Remy, there is no excuse, okay? You have the means. You have the means, all right? Anyway, moving on from that, you want to know... <laughs> Jen, Jen, the groupie slayer. Girl, you an insecure ass bitch. You are giving me Emily T's, okay? You are giving me Emily T's and you want him to be a fake ass fabulous because you talking about some, you know, when he first got signed to the first label, you know, they said that he would sell or whatever more with, um, especially the female artists, uh, audience or whatever, because if he was to portray himself as single, you know, this single rapper, this single artist or whatever, put me in the background, but then you get on this new label and now you claiming me or whatever. And I'm sitting here like, so what's the problem? So you upset, you pushing him out the house, you got him sleeping at his grandma house or whoever the fuck house it is, you know, because of the whole shit that went down with Jeanette Ski at the um thing. First of all, bitch, you weren't supposed to be there. Second of all, you took that shit way out of proportion. That's your fault. For once, I say that that motherfucker really wasn't doing nothing he was trying to but he really wasn't doing nothing at that time and Janiski was not about to allow it to happen now had you just calmed your ass down and let her talk she would have explained the situation to you and didn't have to go the way that it went but see you so fucking insecure because this has happened to you plenty of times all right in the 20 years that y'all been fucking around he's been fucking around with other bitches but yeah you did what you kick them out you take them back you kick them out you take them back see this this is the thing that y'all do and you love it so therefore we don't feel sorry for you all right Right? Be mad. We don't care. I ain't scared of fixing this. I ain't scared of doing it. I ain't scared of whispering. Listen, let me just tell you this. Um, send... <laughs> I'm going to skip Safari right quick because basically he go over there to Tahiri, you know, and um, they trying to learn some stuff or whatever for the dancing. I just said I'm going to skip him, but here I go. Anyway, basically Tahiri had to tell him, you looking kind of funny right now. It's more than a text message. The reason why she mad or whatever is because no one should be able to tell your bitch about anything else that she should already know that you should have had already told her, okay? Because now it's coming across as if she has a problem with Yandy, okay? You are thinking like a fucking man. That's what you are. You need to understand where she's coming from. You supposed to tell your girl everything. At this point, this is about to be your wife. She should have known, okay? You need to go fix the shit. And that's basically it. But um, Sin was up in that studio. Girl, it ain't no question. Let me tell you something. You know, Sin said she wanted to do her music 100% full time. 
Um, I'm going to tell you not to do that. I don't want to crush your dreams and hopes or whatever. Um, you got a cute little voice, but it's nothing special. It's average at its best. It's nothing unique about it. Um, it's... Mm, if you get on, it's because people already know you, and that's it. Like I said, I'll listen to it because it's not a bad, you don't have a bad singing voice, not, but it's not much. You know what I'm saying? It's not mind-blowing and all that shit. And some of the songs that I have heard is kind of very mediocre, just like this one. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I ain't trying to put people down, but you know, you have to get constructive criticism. I want some stronger shit, okay? I'm tired of this bubblegum, popcorn-ass shit that's coming out and people calling it R&B or whatever. No, let's get some depth into our goddamn lyrics and shit like that. Let's let's move the crowd, goddamn, move the bones in my body, bitch. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, okay, Ashley, come back, come back, I'm back, I'm back. Joe come up in the studio, and she was like, oh my god, let me talk to Joe right quick. Okay, listen, uh, so I've been hearing this whole thing about, you know, you and your ex reconnecting, okay? What's going on, like, Erica or whatever, trying to push you with my ex, your ex or whatever? And he was like, so basically, I saw her at you know, Safari's housewarming party, and then we went on another outing shopping for the wedding or whatever. But other than that, that's the extent of what it's been at. And at this point, I'm confused. Y'all enlighten me in the comments because thinking like a nigga aside, where is thing coming from? At the end of the day, like I keep saying, you up here talking about some, don't play with me. You know, you my baby father, you my ex-fiance. Okay, exactly. Ex-fiance and baby father. So, is he not supposed to move on? Or is it that you don't want him to move on? You trying to play this game where, you know, I break up with you. You supposed to stay um single for a little bit because 9 out of 10, I might want to come back to you. So, I'm just trying to figure some things out. No, baby, we don't do shit like that. If you break up with a person, you better damn well be ready to break up with that person. And um, suspect that that person might be ready to move on. Not finna be sitting around waiting on you or whatever. Because everybody's not going to do that. Everybody's not going to do that. They're going to be in their feelings for a minute. But, you know, there's no time limit on... How long a person supposed to grieve a relationship? There's no time limit, okay? And like I said, if we real petty and if we real hurt, like, bitch, you hurt me for breaking up with me over some stupid shit that ain't even happened. But then again, you said that he cheated, so why would you want him back? So he ain't supposed to be with nobody else? Why do you care if he was to get back with his ex? At least it ain't no new bitch. At least it ain't no new bitch that you got to get to know and all this. Girl, I'm confused. Put it down in the comments. I'm sitting here like sin. But you not bothered, but you are bothered as fuck. Girl, you broke up with him. Anyway, fuck that. You know, saying you bother this shit. Do, 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 do. Anyway, um, so as we get into the episode, what happened? Um, this whole thing with uh Remy Ma. So Remy Ma took my advice while I was leaving this review. You know, she knew I was going what I was saying, and I said. Put that baby on your hip and get in the goddamn booth. And that's what happened. And get you a little nanny or somebody to um freaking do what they got to do. Like, that's what happened. You know, real... I ain't going to say real mothers, but mothers in general will make a way, okay, to get shit done, okay? It's a lot of single mamas out here that's still out here working. They ain't out here complaining or whatever. You got the means, bitch, okay? So you better get somebody up here to watch your baby and then you, 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 you do what you got to do, okay? And that's what she was doing. Now, that was one interruption because the little baby started crying, okay? She ain't really started crying. She started making a little noise, okay? So, she gave her to the um the little nanny babysitter, whatever. That's cute or whatever. She get up and then she started rapping off and doing some more because the mothers got to do this and then we got to do that with the dresses and the cut and all this. Shit. And then, um, she get a phone call, FaceTime from Fat Joe. And I'm like, girl, you in the booth, put that shit on vibrate, okay? Put that shit on vibrate or silent. We got to get... You know, be serious about this shit, okay? Don't bring that up in the booth, you know what I'm saying? But um, he was just checking up on her, making sure everything is all to the good. You know, they're talking about Pat Pulse and how he a real dude. You know, he real rap, whatever. How he, you know, used to drop a whole bunch of mixtapes and stuff back to back, you know, back in his day. But then he put all that on hold. You know, he had to come off tour just to come bail her out of jail and everything. And so, now it's time for him to get here. So, I was like, all right, you know, do what you got to do. Cool. Moving on from that, we got Jenny Ski and Rich, okay? They are at Hot 97 with DJ K Slay, all right? 
And he got her up on the radio station. She up there doing a little freestyle or whatever. DJ K Slay liking what he hear. He said, listen, at the end of the day, had you not known Rich and Rich and I brought you up in here, I would have never gave you the time of day, bitch. But I'm impressed. I was like, oh, you are? Okay. You know? And so at this point, you know... She was like, uh, Rich was like, you know, Fresh a good dude. He a good dude. But I need to know if you rocking with me exclusive. Like, is it going to be the Richie D show exclusively? Rich is actually doing fucking work. I'm like really fucking surprised. Like, he's not really on creep mode right about now. Creep mode deactivated. You know, he's he's not on that. Fresh it is. Like, I'm so confused at what's going on right about now. But he said, listen, so, you know, somebody wanted me to listen to you. Boom, listen to you, okay? Wanted you to perform at a showcase. Boom, got you on the showcase. Wanted you to um get up in the booth, get you some studio time. Boom, okay, we did that. So what we going to do? I'm doing all these little freebies for you or whatever. So what you going to do? We going to work together? We going to do what? You know, fresh a good dude, but I mean, he ain't doing what he needs to do. Now, see, at the end of the day, she chose Rich. She did the right thing. And the lesser of two evils in this situation right about now is Rich, okay? You know, I just hope Rich don't fuck it up. Don't stop doing what you're supposed to be doing. Because, you know, she said this is his chance to get back into the music game and all this stuff or whatever. And so far, so good. You know, he doing what he's supposed to. He coming through on his words. Fresh is not. Mind you, Fresh told us, you know... Um, he was basically trying to get this thing done with Jen to, uh, help get them out of where they at. Get this money. You put money, like, you hoping that this girl gonna get you out of wherever it is that you in? I would not do no shit like that because you don't know if a bitch gonna pop or not. You don't know that. I said, well, obviously not. It ain't gonna happen. You know, she was like, I know and I got history with Fresher, but the bitch ain't coming through. And I feel like he was just using the fact that she got history with her to delay the process because he's selling her pipe dreams and she caught on to that shit. Okay, girl, you do what you gotta do. So Safari went all out with the rose petals and candles or whatever, went outside to the patio, backyard, whatever. And proposed again to Erica, apologized, proposed, and gave her a watch. And, of course, she took it. whoop de fucking do I at this point, take them off. Give them their own special moment. I think you really dropped the ball on this right here. Okay, give them their own little special. Take them off the season. We don't need to see no more scenes of them. So, um, you know... Cinco meet up with Erica and Jonathan basically talking about some. I'm gonna go meet up with you because there gotta be a reason, you know, that she is up here thinking about you and she's trying to Jacqueline Hyde this, put you together with your ex and all this stuff and woo woo woo. And my whole thing is, if the issue is between Sin and Erica, why do you need to put your messy ass in between it? Okay, why do you need to come? Jonathan has no fucking storyline. Jonathan is another Juju, but I like Juju, okay? Juju is not annoying the hell out of me. Jonathan is out here trying to secure a spot for next season. He is the bone carrier. He is the messenger boy, okay? You're doing everybody's dirty work, and you're stirring the fucking pot for what? Like I said, I don't know if I said this earlier, but truth be told, given the type of bitch that Erica is, and she said this herself, I am not sitting here thinking about you, bitch, okay? What's in my past is in my past. She was like, but you know that I got my baby daddy and, you know, we've been a few months apart and, um, you know, we had this two, my baby not even two yet. She was like, bitch, you out here saying how glad and happy you are and feeling good that you not with him, which she has been, okay? Pull up her social media receipts on Instagram, all right? And... Now you in your feelings, and I'm telling you, it's just because it's Erica that's doing it. It's Erica that's doing it, okay? And I believe Erica 100% when she said, bitch, I'm not thinking about you. Jonathan want to make it a big deal. Send up that fucking crying. Erica like, bitch, I didn't seen these alligator tears before, and you're not going to make me seem like I'm the big bad wolf, bitch. I'm worried about my relationship and my pregnancy and my friends. Those are my friends, so therefore, it is what it is, okay? Get out your fuck-ass feelings. You didn't want him going around, talk to nobody. And I was here when Erica said, bitch, listen, at the end of the day, I have a baby daddy, too. I have a child, too, but I don't give a fuck who that bitch is out here seeing, okay? Because that's my past, because I didn't move the fuck on, all right? You know, you don't put out there that you good and you happy and all this stuff, but once it seems like your, um, your ex is moving on or whatever, don't get in your fuck-ass feelings because it's your other ex that's doing it like bitch it don't always have to be an agenda and at the end of the day after looking at this i truly don't think that it's an agenda i think that she just you know wanted her friends to get together again because they had history that's it okay and i truly don't feel like she was sitting around thinking about oh how can i get sent back 
Who does that when they're in a happy relationship? Girl, she don't give a fuck about you. She wasn't thinking about you last season when they went on that trip, but you had so much to say about that. She wasn't thinking about you not. Like, bitch, you the one that's thinking about her. And Jonathan is the one that's planting the seed and spurring the pot. Okay, he's the one being all dramatic. Get that bitch off this show. Anyway, that was Love & Hip Hop New York. Y'all tell me how y'all feel. About to go watch Love & Hip Hop Miami. Peace.